recently reviewed the book Midnight Rising, John Brown and the Raid that Sparked the Civil War by Tony Horowitz. This is a well-written and informative book, but one which romanticizes and glorifies terrorism. For that was what John Brown was, by the standard of his own day and by the standards of our own. Brown, a religious fanatic with a family history of mental illness, whom Horowitz acknowledges many of his close associates thought exhibited signs of insanity, saw himself as God's instrument on earth. Brown was pledged to violence and declared, the sins of this country can only be purged with blood. Wherever Horowitz uses the word insurgent, substitute jihadist, and try to conjure up the same sympathy for Brown that Horowitz's use of the milder term allows. There is little to admire in Brown's bloody career, which ranged from hacking five unarmed men to death in Kansas in 1856, to killing unarmed civilians at Harper's Ferry in 1859, and trying to incite widespread murder and mayhem. Brown was disavowed by his own supporters in the North, including the Republican candidate for president, Abraham Lincoln. Despite Brown's condemnation by the moderate elements of his own day, Horowitz embraces the position of the most polarized abolitionists of 1859 in somehow seeing Brown as having performed a service to the nation by providing the spark that caused the Civil War. The supposition being that only a bloody Civil War that resulted in 600,000 deaths, as a percentage of population, this would take to some 6 million Americans today, could result in the abolition of slavery. This supposition is wrong, however. Another American slave society abolished slavery without firing a shot. The other great slave society of the late 19th century was Brazil. The Brazilian economy depended on slaves, especially in mining, in cotton production, and in sugarcane production. More slaves were imported into Brazil over the course of three centuries than were imported into North America. By the late 19th century, slavery was in decline. Slave owners preferred to pay free immigrant labor from Europe, low wages, than to keep supporting entire slave communities from cradle to grave. Since a significant portion of those communities, the sick, the disabled, the very young, and the very old, were non-productive. By 1871, the sons of all existing slaves were freed. In 1885, all slaves aged over 60 were freed. Slavery was legally ended nationwide in Brazil on May the 13th. 1888 with a government compensating slave owners for each slave freed. A mere 23 years after the bloody American Civil War, Brazil ended slavery peacefully, perhaps because it did not have fanatics like John Brown to foment fear and violence.